What's up YouTube, it's Andrew Poen and I finally got my Galaxy Note and I'm just going to give you my quick rundown of my thoughts about this phone so far I just have some pros and cons uh, Let's just start off, this is the lock screen um, you can actually put the weather in the lock screen as default it's not like a ROM or anything, it's not, not a hack or anything um, yeah this camera has a uh, 8 megapixel camera on the back with LED flash and I believe a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front. I'm not sure. Um, could be 2 megapixel, but I'm not sure. Um, the phone itself is 5.3 inches from uh, diagonally. Has four home buttons or four capacitive touch buttons. Just like that. Just touch them. Um, it's a Super AMOLED HD screen, which is great if you're outdoors. That's why I love this phone so much because if I'm outdoors, this screen looks perfectly, uh, perfect, just the same as it would on the inside. It doesn't there's there's really there, there I mean there still is a glare, but you can st see the screen perfectly even in the sunlight, like direct sunlight. It's perfect. Um, this is the this is the stock TouchWiz UI. Um, let's see, this is the clock, all that, all this stuff comes with with the phone. Now, um, but when you first get the phone, there's actually a little bit of lag that it seems to have. Uh, let's go back. Like when you're switching like screens from right here to there, there's there actually is a lot of lag. Well, it's not. I mean, it's it's not a lot, but it's 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 just there, and it kind of bothered me. So I did just I just kind of hacked this baby. Um, didn't take that long, and uh, just put a uh, supercharged script on there. And yeah, now, now there's no lag really. Um, but uh, it's running a 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S3 processor and stock. I already have set CPU. It is running at 1.566. That is default. That, that is the default clock. But I I can already overclock because I, I already put a custom kernel. But um, the battery life on this phone negligible because even before I put the the kernel on it, so I had uh, basically I had this phone for a day before I did anything to it. So I had a day running stock everything to test it out, and the battery still goes like let's see from the from like maybe six or seven o'clock in the morning to maybe eight and that wasn't even by using all that much stuff just mostly on the internet so you this this isn't gonna be like the most amazing battery life in the world but um hopefully with the ROMs coming out soon enough we'll probably have some better battery life on this um, it is it does have a, a 2500 milliamp battery which is pretty big but I mean you're powering a, a, a dual core um, let's see uh, LTE, which is really, really fast. This huge screen, but um, the AMOLED should save you some battery. Um, well, let's let's go show you some. Uh, that's the little launcher. It's kind of lagging. For, I, I don't know why I haven't switched out of touch with the launcher yet. I, I kind of like it for some reason at this point. I don't know. Um, let's go ahead and go to speed test. This is actually, uh, you can change this in the settings. There's a little bit of lag. Well, I'll fix that in a second. Uh, where is it at? Speed test. Nope. Speed test. The, this phone, um, I have my house gets full bars of LTE, all the bars. So yeah, I get all the bars. I get four bars. Um, let's go ahead and begin this. Uh, it does quite well on this. Hopefully, let's see it'll do good on the test. Yeah, you can see it's doing quite well on the test. Look at that. We're hitting about 43. God damn, that's faster than my home internet. Let's try that again. This phone gets real like. I'm just amazed considering I moved on from my HX4G, which was like not, uh, it was a HSPA Plus, and this is AT&T's LTE. I gotta say, it's pretty fast compared to um, the HSPA Plus, which gets about 6 MBs. This gets 40, 41. Look at my results. I have a bunch of other ones. I think the most I ever got was, I think, probably, yeah, probably 43. And that is just amazing, fa amazing fast. Like, um, before I started this video, I actually downloaded an offline dictionary app because I, I use the dictionary at school. And that, where is it? Offline dictionary. Yeah, it's kind of lagging. Oh, there we go. Right there. The, the, um, what you do is you can download dictionaries. And it was a 40, 45 megabyte dictionary. And it downloaded it in literally not even 10 seconds. It's just amazing how fast it is. But I also feel like my data is going to go up because I feel like I'm just blazing through all my data right now, even my 2 gigs. AT&T tried getting me um, a three gigabyte plan, which I kind of was thought was stupid. Because I know they're probably gonna be a little um, 
let's not use the cuss word, but um, yeah, they're just gonna be little buttholes to you about your data because they like throttling your data, as some of my friends have told me. And um, yeah, but um, let's see, let's just go through this. It is running Android 2.3.6, I believe. And I don't think this phone's gonna get ICS or ice cream sandwich for a while, even though the international version one just got it. But that's because it's the international site, ATT has to go through thousands of testings and all that. About, nope, not there. About phone, Android 2.3.6. Um, kernel, really old kernel, not up to date, um, but hopefully we'll fix that with future ROMs. Um, it does have the stylus, I forgot to show you guys that. The stylus is pretty useful. Um, you can do anything with it basically. You can even go back here actually. You gotta click this button right here, this little, you can hear that. And you swipe to the left, it'll take you back. And if you um, swipe, if you hold, if you click and hold the button on your screen, it'll take a snapshot, let it load for a second, and then you'll be you'll give them the option to annotate annotate your screen, or the screenshot that you just picked. Like you can annotate this. Uh, let's see, you can annotate whatever you want. Annotate. Let's see, circle that, circle that, circle that. You could save. You could put the eraser. You could crop it. You could do all all sorts of things. I think that's cropping. Yeah, it's cropping. Um, let's go ahead and cancel that. Discard. Um, you can also bring up the menu using the touch, the, t the S Pen. That's what they call it. Like that, swiping and holding up with the button. Um, you can actually start an S Memo too if you hold it and double tap the screen. Like that. Let's see, hopefully it'll come up. Yep, there we go. It's not the fastest in the world, but um, I'm sure we could fix that future on in the future. That's my name, if you didn't know. Actually, yeah. I wrote that pretty bad. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, it's, um, I hope you guys like this little video. It wasn't really full-on review or anything, but, um, just my little personal thoughts on this, on this new device. Um, I hope you guys liked it. It's pretty skinny, too. It's actually skinnier than the Atrix 4G, which is, uh, I'm pretty amazed at that. And it doesn't really feel that big in your pocket, even though it feels huge in the hand. Like I actually have to use two hands now. I can't really just be like I can't I can't just put my finger over there. Well, I guess I can, but I can't. I have to like I don't know. It's different. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this little video. And um, I'm gonna be doing some future videos, hopefully on my Galaxy Tab because I'm gonna be uh, putting CM9 on that today, or um, Atrix 4G videos because I have ICS on that now, CM9 on that. Um, but yeah, um, I'll get. ROMs on on this phone soon enough when they have more ROMs coming out since the phone just came out two weeks ago. So thanks for watching and subscribe.